Hi everyone! Welcome back to our YouTube channel and today we'll be doing a video on the topic Love Revival Yes, so this is Love Revival Part 2 guys and we're just basically going to have a casual conversation about what that means to us what Love Revival means to us and yeah, so let's get right into the video Mommy, you can go first <laughs> Unless you're having a convo and you're you like, know, I you want to actually think talk. about what to say Right, yes. so once you go first, about what to say, yes. and I'm required to think on my feet. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Let me say what love revival means to me. Um, for me, love revival to me, honey, is really actually like a reminder of what love should look like, how we should be in the earth, how to really love someone. A whole lot of times, we, we put a lot of labels on it. And to me, sometimes it's more about our words rather than our actions. And I think we're, we're, we, we are being called into action. We're being called into be a representation of love. It's not just saying, but it's being. Mm -hmm. you no. Know, how do you be? Mm -hmm. How do you be love? <laughs> um, I, I think that really um, starts with you know, spending time with God because he's really the teacher of all things. And so in order for us to really be love, we have to connect to him who is love, right. which is Christ. Because God is love, right? right? And yeah, and I think also in a more practical sense, love, it all starts one day at a time because you know you, we're not just going to jump up and love unconditionally. Because loving somebody and being selfless is like the shedding away of your flesh. Like each time you have to go out of your way to show love to somebody, it's actually breaking your pride and you. So it takes time, right? It's so so true. it's in the simple things, you know, it's in some of the simple things, right, mommy? In, you in, said in, something. In, 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 oh, why? Right. Sorry, you said yeah. something. It's very profound for me. You spoke about breaking pride. Yeah. Because we have to realize that it's not every time that that we decide to show love or to express love or to do an, an act of kindness that we're going to be received with open arms yes. but does it mean that we stop loving does it mean that we stop giving and i think breaking pride is something i was just thinking about pride the other day and i and, and i think it has held me back to a larger extent you feel like you're always thinking about people and what they're gonna think and people's opinions and so on and sometimes it just blocks you and I think pride is the filthiest garment that anybody could ever wear and I want us to be rid of that that dirty garment of pride because it blocks us from from just being open and honest and, and Jesus was the epitome of just open people were looking for a king and he came in a sandals mm -hmm. and People were looking for, for him to be wearing this, this crown, but he was just talking to men in the streets and, and he said he came for sinners. And so I really want to forget who I am. Mm -hmm. And this image, sometimes we're so concerned about image, how we look yes. and what somebody else is gonna so think. So love revival is being is being selfless, yes. just forgetting. Being forgetting who you are and allowing God to reign. You know, we need God to reign in our hearts. And outside of that, we need to we need to, to, to pursue people. I mean, God pursues us. God pursues us when we fall, when we sin. Why don't you give the same grace that God gives to you to others? How about that? It's time for us to step up, right? Yeah. Give the same Facts. grace to others. Yeah. That's what love revival is. Loving somebody so intimately and and in, just giving them such infectious love. That's the word that 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 they can't help but serve God. They're like, wow, I've never seen love like this before. And that's what God wants you to do. Because mm. people, they won't even come to God because they don't feel loved. And trust me. If they feel love, because that's what people want, love. That's what they need. We, we, we search out to, 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 um, to be like others. We seek after to please people, you know, because we want to feel loved. But God loves us regardless. It doesn't matter what. And if persons feel the love of God through your life, you don't think they're going to serve God? Yeah, that's what we want. Yes. So, love revival mm -hmm. is to make it infectious, yeah. to love so hard. 
to love so unconditionally mm -hmm. that it breaks down every single defense in the other person in yes. men women in boys mama. girls for them to feel it in, in such a way mm -hmm. and it's not just it's just being genuine about the thing. Yeah. Just really doing it because you want to do it. Yeah. Showing love because you are the recipient of God's love and it's our, we have a responsibility. It's a, it's just a responsibility, guys. So, I mean, I, I don't know what else to say, but I believe that God is calling us to a time where He wants us, He wants the world to know that He is love. But we are His hands and feet in the earth. We are Jesus' yes. hands and feet in the earth. If we are not the epitome, if we don't show, how will men know that that is what Jesus wants to express to them? Okay, so guys, thank you so much for watching. This is the Love Revival Part 2. You better get out there and love. Just love. Love. Ask Him to teach you. He will. Love. And guys, Thank you. We absolutely yes. love you. We thank you we for thank every, you for every video you watch, you every time you like, yes. every time you subscribe, subscribe you share, like, you follow your share. comments. Just share your thoughts yes. with us. We are we're always wanting yes. to know what's happening yes. with you. All right. Thank love you. So you. Much, Take care. Guys. Thank you.